Um, I am going to be doing kills of Back again to hear another story of immense fortune and unthinkable peril. Well, I have some time. The borderlands of Pandora were told to contain mysterious alien treasure troves filled with advanced technology and incredible power. Vaults, the people called them. And to seek one out was to earn you the title of Vault Hunter. At least by me. You could say Handsome Jack was one such explorer, though his methods could be seen as uh, somewhat unsporting. He ran the corporation Hyperia and died trying to claim Pandora as his own. History's attention is fickle, my friends. It will remember those pirates like Handsome Jack, but forget the adventurers who risk it all for less, ah, obvious rewards. Stories, legends, those are much better at getting at the real spirit of things. Stories remember both sides of the tale. <laughs> some sort of radiation leak I don't know about. <laughs> Exactly, are we going? I ask the questions. Okay, then uh, do you mind asking yourself where you're taking me? <laughs> oh! <laughs> what the hell? Tell me about the Gordas project. <laughs> is that what this is about? <laughs> Look. Gordas is bad business. If you want a real hot investment, I am on the ground floor of some property on E. Okay, 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 okay. Don't be a smart ass. I'm not a patient person. So just start talking. Just where do you start when you're getting dragged through the desert and, uh... 
from the beginning. Right. I guess it all started with a promotion. See, I'd spent my entire career up at Hyperion, so I suppose that makes me one of the bad guys in this story. And Handsome Jack, he was the you baddest guy of them all. This long. It must feel good I to find to be grab it, just you know? like him. Take it. It's yours, right? <laughs> I mean, you always said that. <laughs> Everyone did. I gotta be honest, I always thought it was sort of cheesy, but uh but hey, here Which we are. Which resulted in a company overflowing with assholes. Animals. When Handsome Jack died, it somehow got even worse. It took some time to fit in. But a few stabs and select backs, a new haircut, and the help of a couple friends, I was on my way to get the promotion that was going to change my life. Scratch that. Our lives. For the better. I was a little distracted. It was a big day for us. Luckily, Vaughn was concentrating on the important things. What's the first thing you're going to buy? I know what Henderson's making. I do his payroll. If you're getting a fraction of what he earns, you'll be rolling in it. It's not about money, Vaughn. It's about the respect it gets you. Yeah, you know who talks like that? Poor people that no one likes. Respect, it's nice, you know? But it's not nicer than a summer home on Eden 7. Get your priorities straight. We're meeting with a vet afterward to celebrate. She booked us a table. Yep, sounds good. Look, we had to do a lot of awful stuff to get you to this point. Do I regret some of it? Sure I do. Every night it haunts my dreams, but that doesn't matter now. Because you made it. You deserve this, man. And don't ever think you don't. And don't ever think about the Iridium Mine deal we put together. Thanks for the help, Vaughn. Really. I couldn't have done this without you and Yvette. Hey, man, don't sweat it. Uh, I'm just happy we even got you here. You know, I crunched the numbers one night and figured out there was a 45% chance someone would kill you before this day. Glad that didn't happen. Me too. It was a uh, real touch and go there for a bit. All right, man. Let's get that Hyperion face on. Oh, right, yeah. We need some condescending. It's a little too friendly right now. Okay, I tell you what. Tilt your head back. Uh, like if you ask me if there's anything up your nose. How's that? There you go. You don't respect me at all. Perfect. Mr. Henderson? Have a seat, Reese. I'll just be a second. No, I wasn't talking to you. Yes, I'm talking to you now. Yeah, but I don't want it in red, I want it in black. Because black is better. Look, don't concern yourself with why, okay, Jerry? Concern yourself with how. And just send the car over when it's ready. Company car. Didn't even have to ask. You look surprised to see me, Reese. And if I'm reading the situation right, and I usually am, you're not too happy about it. This all came together quick. So, you might not have been in the loop. So where's Henderson? He, uh, stepped out. You're going to be reporting to me now, Reese. And I want you to know the promotion that you worked so hard to get. That's still coming to you. Well, that's a relief. Because <laughs> I... But this is about more than that, Reese. It's about your future in this company. Look, you want to know the reason why I'm in that chair and you're not? For the exact same reason why North is North. Why the handsome guy always gets the girl. And why every spaceship in the universe is shaped like a cock. <laughs> it's destiny, race, And men, real men, men like me, make their own. And you can hold a grudge if you like. No harm, no foul. Your thoughts are your own. But bad things can happen when you swim against fate. Sometimes men find themselves standing in the way of other men's destiny. 
You don't want to be that man. Wow. I could not have timed that better. That really helps dramatically make my point. Which is this. This promotion is going to take you out of the way of other people's destiny and put you on your own path. And that, my friend, is why I am promoting you to... Jerry, why isn't my new car digistructing in my office yet? Vasquez, it's August. Oh, August. Uh, yeah, cool, listen. Uh, I actually have somebody here with me, so... Uh... Are you buying this vault key, or what? Because I... How did this happen so quick? I thought I'd have more time. Of course I'm still interested. I... Yes, I'm near a computer. Ten million, yeah. It's just that's a lot of money to get together on short notice. I mean, I'm not trying to be obstinate, but I need time. Alright, so everything got really heavy really, really quick. Um, okay, yeah, that yeah, was yeah, yeah, No, but... Do you want the money or not? Because I... Ugh. Why do the biggest scumbags always have the best view? It's not. No, it won't be a Three big deal. Three years sucking up to the guy. Out the window. That should be me. Only less... vasquez -y. Yeah, that's what we had before. It's a working day, August. And I just got this promotion. Uh -huh. Look, 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 are you going... Okay, analysis. You go to the basket. Or Jen. Not yet. Age, 35. Blood pressure, 140 over 90. Look, Personal catch braces. Rock and roll, lock and load, eight. Uh, yeah, 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 no, but um, do you want the money or not? Because I okay. well, it's not, no, it won't be a big deal. gonna need another hour or two. Okay. Yeah, I'll be there in a bit. Well, then just stay there. It's a tourist shop, right? Buy a mug or something. Sure. 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 Okay. Say hi to your mom. Damn it. Ah, right. Now, what were we talking about? Before we were 
So, uh, rudely interrupted. We were talking... <clears throat> we were talking about my promotion? All right, your uh, promotion. Anderson was a fool. He didn't know his place. He needed lesson number one. Humility. But you, I respect you, Reese. That's why I'm gonna make you assistant vice janitor. What? No, no, you, you, you can't. I'm the boss now, Reese. I do whatever I want. Report to Sewage Scout 23. Effective immediately. I guess I was silent there. I'm your there. boss, Reese. Get used to that. This well, is what I'm dang, talking about. Well, dang! I just got punched in the face. Humility. That was lesson number two. Don't make lesson number three about a number two. What? Don't make me crap on the floor and make you clean it up. <laughs> You're dismissed, Reese. I already don't like him. I'll let you know when I need my trash can emptied. Screw you. Douchebag. What the hell was that? He can't do this to us. He just did. No. No, no, this can't be happening. I'm finished, Mom. I'm finished. You know this place is. There's blood in the water, and everyone can smell it. No, 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 they can't. Not yet, unless you don't quiet down. We just gotta keep it on the down low until we figure something out. Sorry, you were saying something? I interrupted you. Reese, why are you cleaning up trash? I thought you were getting a promotion. Trash duty seems like the opposite of a promotion. Huh. Vasquez screwed me out of the promotion. He threw Henderson out of an airlock and demoted Reese to trash man. Holy crap. So does that mean you're not buying? <laughs> Well, just try and lighten the mood. And I didn't bring my wallet, so if someone pays for me... I'll tell you who's gonna pay. Vasquez. I don't know if he's the type we to... We can't let that prick get away with this. We need to do something. He just killed a guy. Maybe it's better we lay low for a bit. We steal his deal. We steal his deal. I don't steal yes. his deal. That is what I'm talking about. What are you talking about? Vasquez set up a deal on Pandora for a vault key. Whoa. That must be why he got the promotion. The only thing Hyperion cares about more than money is his vault keys. It's perfect! I mean, not only do we screw over Askez, we have a friggin' vault key! <laughs> what are they worth? Like a billion dollars? More. Yeah, but we need ten million dollars right now to make the deal. Hold, please. Done. I'm not gonna lie. That was impressive. I'm in accounting, and it's what I do. Ten million bucks is chump change around here. By the time anyone notices, we'll have a vault key. Man, I wish I had ten million bucks. Well, looks like you boys got it all figured out. I'm gonna go eat. Alone? Call me if you don't get killed, Whoa, 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 right? hey, hey, we need your help. We need clearance, transportation. You're a requisitions master. We need that stuff. Yeah, maybe a loader bot or two. You know, things get dicey. Look. It's one thing stealing from a bunch of poor suckers on Pandora. You're talking about stealing from Hyperion. But we're friends. Friends help each other steal stuff. I mean, that's how it works. Richter used to steal candy bars. His family still doesn't know where the body is. Come on, I'll buy you the lunch I owe you when we get back. Fine. But you're buying me lunch now and when you get back. <laughs> Done. We only got a couple hours. Go withdraw the cash. I'll get you guys clearance to Pandora, get you geared up, and issue you a standard Hyperion town car. What? Standard? Really? 
You, you can't spring for premium? Seat warmers, maybe a convertible or something? Sure, yeah, a convertible. So, just so I got this straight, you want me to get you a car to drive around Pandora that leaves you less protected, right? Look, it just... If you're gonna steal something, I uh, figure... No. No, don't worry. I've got a car in mind. <laughs> He's going to steal the car Vasquez was trying to get. Hey, that's what's... It, it's a... Uh, uh, oh, oh my god, I forgot what they're called. It's going to bug me. Um... They're in Borderlands too. Okay. Stupid marauders. Hate marauders. Suck. <laughs> that was great. Oh yeah. Music from Borderlands is really good. So, good psycho. Prosperity Junction. Random skag. The same skag that gets hit in every game. Holy freaking crap! What was? What? What do we even? Oh, what do we even why? hit? Why? Oh, I hope that wasn't Why like a really ugly person. Why would you cross right there? <laughs> oh, crap. I think we... I think we killed it. Are we murderers now? We're, we're murderers. We're murderers. Great, great, we murder. Relax, Vaughn. It's a skag. They breed like hostile rabbits down here. <laughs> Still, it's kind of sad. Yeah. Kind of. And a rock. So, what do we say if someone asks where we got the money? What do you mean? Well, I mean, what do we tell people? We should have a story. I, mean, I would prefer not to tell them that we stole it from Hyperion. That would not go over well. I just think we need a plan of some sort. Let's just say Vasquez gave it to us to make the deal. It's easier that way. Yeah. I guess I wanted a cooler plan, but I suppose that'll work. Get over it. <laughs> so, this looks not good. Oh, got ourselves a hero here. Got ourselves a hero here. It's Pandora. What did you expect? Yeah, no, I know. I, I guess I'm just now more acutely aware that I have $10 million chained to me, is all. In a neighborhood, I might add, of back planet nut jobs. I'm just getting a vibe, you know? Just keep your eyes open for the place, okay? I don't want to be here any longer than we have to. Yeah. And uh, watch the money. Oh, really? Listen, <laughs> one tap on the arm, and Yvette can send down a loader bot if things get too entertaining. That's true. And she gave me this. It is a stun baton. I do not know Ooh. how it works, but it's definitely neat. Yeah, stick. Neato. God, I can't wait to be in that chair. You and me, a vet. I mean, we bring this key back, and they're gonna make us the once and future kings of that place for sure. They'll send in a crew to use the key, and then that's it. Then it's kick back on the moon beach time. Yeah, yeah, we'll pop champagne and everything after we get back with the key. Ah, come on, it's in the bag.
tracker's beep beep beeping, but I don't see the place. It's the world of curiosities, right? Yeah, do you see it? No. Could ask one of them. They seem... normal-ish. Or you could ask one of them. You're the closer, right? So close! Get us some direction! Well, I think this is a good stopping point right here. Um, so, uh, yeah. Next week, we will be seeing where this journey will take us. And I will explore of, you know, explore what we're going to do. So, until next time, I will talk to y'all later. Bye!